What's up guys, Mercadurka here, starting a COD Jihad. That is my new intro that I'm using, and I think it's hilarious. My friend suggested it to me, and I just couldn't stop laughing. But I am doing a new thing now, where each video, you guys are going to post a comment, if you'd like, and suggest a new intro for me, a new little catchphrase. And I'm going to try and switch it up every single video, to kind of keep everybody on their toes, and I feel like it's a really good way for me to stay in touch with you guys, to feel like you guys have a bigger part in the development of my channel. And, alright, that's enough of that. And But I do think I am going to use the COD Jihad uh, catchphrase for my Dual Com with Wings, because I just think it's so funny, and I don't know. But maybe not. If I get a funnier one, I'll use that. So, think hard, think of funny things, and tell me what you think of. Anyway, onto the game. I am playing a game of Search and Destroy on Skid Row, and you guys all wanted me to use really goofy classes, and I went to put thermal on my submachine guns, and lo and behold, I didn't even have thermal because I'd never touched the ACOG for any of them. So I slapped the ACOG on my old MP5K, and... Oh, this is the best clip of all time, by the way. Watch this. Oh, one, two. Oh, reload. Three, and four. Man, that is a montage clip if I've ever seen one. And that's pretty much the main reason I uploaded this game. It's a flawless uh, 9-0 S&D, but... I just thought this clip was really good, especially considering I was using just this big, weird contraption of a gun, and I don't know. If you guys like these kind of games where I just use odd classes instead of tryharding, then let me know, because I have more fun doing this than going around with a silenced up 45 trying to get a nuke in Search and Destroy, because when you try and nuke in Search and Destroy, I know, don't, don't criticize me, I am still trying, I'm trying very hard, but I'm trying to do it on my terms, where I still have fun with the game. But I just have more fun with these classes, because when you don't do well, it's kind of like, eh, you know, it's whatever, because I'm using this class I can't expect to do well. So, off my soapbox, that's what I was saying. Uh, but I'm always open to suggestion. You guys can always tell me what you think I should change or what to use. But, yeah, I think I'm going to keep doing this for a while, because this is fun. And, um, hmm, what to talk about? Oh, I've been getting a lot of invites from you guys to play in private matches and clan invites, and I, I apologize, but I'm already on a, in a game battles team, so I cannot join any others. But I am happy to play with you guys, if you'd like. So feel free to shoot me an invite, and if I'm not in a big party, I'd be happy to play with you. And, uh, yeah, so don't hesitate. I'd really like to get to know you guys before my channel becomes too big that I can't really know you guys on a one-to-one -one basis. So, yeah, let's let's take advantage of that while we can. Uh, what else? Oh, I haven't done a lot of Grind My Gears recently, so I'm going to do a couple of those right now, because those always get great feedback. Um, I hate it when people double park with cars that cost less than $100,000. I hate seeing people in, like, a minivan taking up two spots, either because they're lazy or because they don't want to get hit in the side by another driver's door. That drives me so crazy. If it's a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, an Audi R8... Even a BMW 750, I'm fine with that, because those are nice cars, and I wouldn't want to get it dinged, and I might even double park if it came down to it, but if you're driving a Nissan 350Z, come on. Come on, dude. It's a Nissan. You're not double parking. Be nice. Be considerate. And that irritates me so much. I hate when people sit on the same side of a bench when there's nobody on the other side of the bench, especially in parks, and especially if they're the same sex. If it's two dudes sitting right next to each other on the same bench, it first of all makes me question their heterosexuality, and second, it makes me feel like the bench is off balance and it drives me crazy. Hmm. People who talk about how much they can drink as far as alcohol. I'm a college student, so I have to deal with people drinking a lot. I personally don't drink, but I hate listening to people who are like, I drank 11 beers and 17 shots of whiskey last night, and I was so hammered, and Nobody cares, dude. Like, if that's your goal for the day, is to get that destroyed, that you're vomiting all over the place, then mission accomplished, but I don't care, so keep it to yourself. Ugh. Oh. What else? I hate it when people eat ice after they finish a drink. I mean, come on. It, most food you can't hear when it's being chewed inside someone's mouth, but ice? That just is a loud, annoying noise for everyone, and it's inconsiderate, and you just need to stop. Especially in movie theaters. If you are chewing ice in your beverage cup in a movie theater, you need to get up and leave right away because nobody wants you there. You're a menace to society. Just get out. So, so there. I've said it. All of you ice chewers in movie theaters, get out of there. Oh, 
The game's almost over. Jeez, that was fast. This was a 4-0 game. Uh, we won pretty quickly, so hence my surprise at the game being over. This guy should have killed me. No excuse. This was not being me being good at the game. This was him being bad. Uh, and my turtle beach is coming in handy. A little bit of sound whoring there. All right, so please rate and comment for on what you want my new uh, catchphrase to be, and I will be sure to look through, find the funniest one, and use that for my next video. Uh, if you recall from my last video, I talked about wrap snacks, so I took a picture of those and put it up right here so you guys can laugh at that. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for my Wings of Redemption dual commentary. I'm really excited about that. I feel like that's going to help get my channel off the ground. And thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on these videos. And thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Peace.